Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 9. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the duration or the amount of time in your countdown timer. I'm also going to show you a little trick on how to bypass the countdown timer if you're feeling impatient. The ScreenFlow countdown timer is to give you a little time to prepare for your recording. By default, it's set to 5 seconds. To change the duration, come up to the top menu, click on ScreenFlow, and then select Preferences. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Command Comma. Make sure you're on the General tab, and the second option here, you'll see the Countdown Timer settings. You can uncheck this box if you don't want a countdown timer at all, but I'm gonna go ahead and check this box. Then you'll see right here, you can click on the downward arrow if you want less time in your timer. You can click in to add more time. 10 is the maximum. You can click in here, and type in a custom number if you want to go higher than 10. I typically keep mine at three, but choose a setting that works for you. Unless you disabled it in the preferences, you will see the countdown timer whenever you start a new recording. And now for your super secret bonus power tip. If you are impatient or if you just don't want to wait for the countdown timer to finish, no problem. All you have to do is click on it and the recording will start immediately. And that is how you customize the countdown timer in ScreenFlow 9. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.